Big Daddy against Coleman. What do you think, Jeff? This is too close to call, but I'd have go. to go with. Ready? I'm going to have to go with Coleman with superior grappling skill, but boy, I'll tell you, Goodrich is dangerous. But Campatella gave him a heck of a fight for as long as it lasted. There's the shot. Coleman takes him down. Goodrich quickly gets to the guard. And here's somebody that's really powerful. Coleman is not weak at all. He's very, very strong. He may not have the same size arms as Goodrich, but with all that wrestling and he's still in his physical prime, he is extremely tough. And this is about which might go a while. Well, it's going to come down to here whether or not Coleman can solve the guard. If he can, watch out for Gary Goodrich. Oh, good headbutt there by Coleman. And I'll tell you, the gi is, is not going to be a positive for Goodrich because it's hot in here. The humidity is very high. Let's see if Coleman takes his time and just picks his spots, Jeff. He's got lots of wrestling experience. He knows the patience of the virtue. I'll tell you, those, even though they were sideways punches, you could feel it. You could feel it through the octagon padding. And octagon, 750 square feet of face, 32 feet across. When you, with Coleman's background in wrestling, and this, I, I don't mean to harp on wrestling. Yes, I am a wrestler, but without a doubt, he can keep an opponent down, particularly the elite level that Coleman competed at. He competed in the Olympic trials this year, missing the team, so he's still very good at the sport. I believe he lost to Dan Slade. He finished sixth. He beat Mark Kern. He had a pretty good run. Left hand. He's been working with kickboxers, wrestlers, and grapplers and submission guys. Kerr is supposedly another one of the wrestlers, potentially, who might be coming to the UFC. And See how Coleman does here. Coleman schooled by Richard Hamilton right now. Team Phoenix. Goodrich is not panicking in any way. He's just very relaxed. Biding his time. This is the big test. This is the baptism for Coleman. Boyce Gracie was the first to show how patience can work. Squeeze the throat. Keep working, keep working, keep working. Do it. Yes, bring it. Back him to the flat. Yes, yes, yes. Trying to pass the guard. He did it. Good move by Coleman. Got good to jump against the fence. That's where he wanted to choke, but there's no room for him to really come over the top. Gary to his knees. Watch for some play. Also, watch for that good rich elbow. Right, and Coleman caught the elbow. Oh, an uppercut by Coleman. Nice move, trying to set him up for the suplex. Got to get his hands off that chain link fence. If he's going to hang out of the fence, he wants to do it directly in front of his face so no fist can come flying in. That's what I would do, a knee right to the coxswain there. The lower tailbone. Another uppercut. And he's mixing it up well. He's going to low on the body with strikes and then high. And look at Goodrich. He wants to move by moving. That doesn't allow Coleman to strike with his knees. Oh, look at this. This is the first time we've seen yep. this tactic. The first time we've seen somebody just scale the wall of the octagon horizontally. Oh, he wants to get near his people to listen. That's what he wanted to do. What a great move by Goodrich. Unbelievable. Being tuned on the fly. But he's taking punishment in the process. An uppercut again by Coleman. Another one to the back of the head, one to the front. It doesn't matter what the advice is if he's getting pounded like that. All right, he's turning the face, Coleman, now. Now the knees can come into play both ways. But he's got to be careful of this. He took the three rides with Mark Schultz heavily onto his back, and he turns the tide on Coleman. Coleman now pinned against the fence. Coleman using his knee defensively as Goodrich scores. Smart tactic. And now he's got the underhook back, and he will assume the position. It's a stand-up octagon affair. Another left chopping uppercut. 
plenty of fury in that punch by Coleman. Coleman showing good knowledge and versatility on how to attack his opponent from different positions. Goodrich showing plenty of patience and points. As an Ohio State wrestler, his coach once told me that he felt the UFC was the perfect event for Mark Coleman. He coached him, he knew him well. He said he's a brawler kind of wrestler. Not perfect technique, but what he lacked in technique, he made up for with brute strength and heart. And returning from Richard Hamilton here, he seems effective against Gary Goodrich thus far. 5.25 and there's a 12-minute time limit with one three-minute overtime. It only take one of those elbows to make Coleman a victim. And we already know how powerful Goodrich is with them. And there he was looking perhaps for a choke. A clean break. Here comes Big Daddy. He looks mean and ready. Watch for Coleman to try and go ahead and take him down again. Oh, Big Daddy's on a mission here. Coleman faking with the punches. Both continue to circle. Coleman breathing hard. Yes, he is. Goodrich not breathing poorly at all. Right hand by Coleman. Goodrich misses. There's the double. Coleman's got him on the takedown. And there's that power and the experience on the mat. Great double leg. That key also helped him. He grabbed right out of the game. Goodrich is now in some trouble. Coleman lands a barrage of right hands. None of them real clean. None of them the real bomb that he was looking for. Couple got through. There's a knee to the head. Just keep it at bay. A pretty good tactic. Again, he's mixing it up with both lower and upper body strikes. This is the concept of look for the choke. Now he wants There it is. It's a tap out. He got him. Mark Coleman is into the finals of his first UFC. Good job, man. Come on. Wow, seven minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, was that a good fight or what? A tap out. And Big Daddy goes out with Valor. Well, he put a double grapevine in him and he took the hips out of Goodrich. It really flattened his chest down. He couldn't get his arms under him. Perhaps he felt he was in such a vulnerable situation. That's why he tapped out. Coleman living up to his reputation. Yep. Let's have a big He is into the finals. Mark Coleman. 